Good morning or afternoon to you. My name is Fabrice Martin. I work as System Technical Lead at ST Microelectronics. Today, I will have the pleasure to describe to you a new product that we have just launched on the market, which is a world first, a very small and all integrated 64 zone distance sensor, um, which is called the VL53L5. I will just call it the L5. Uh, and it's based on direct time of flight technology. So the first question we can ask is, why did we do this product? Why um, a 64 distance sensor, which is so small? Here are a few key reasons. It can improve the performance of existing products. Uh, in mobile phone, it's typically used to assist the camera focus so that you always have a, a sharp image. Another reason is it allows you to save energy. Uh, in laptop, the product is used to detect if the user is present or not. And if the user is not present, it will put the laptop into low power mode instantly. With this, you can typically save one hour of battery. So it's pretty significant. Another reason is it allows you to enable innovation. Um, if you think about all the new devices you can create now that you know um, the distance information, multiple distance information around your product um, with a tiny sensor, and you can put several of them around, it's actually pretty significant the, um, the amount of new things you can do and new products you can develop with this new information that is uh, available. And the last thing is interaction changer. With the L5, you can have access uh, through distance information to gesture recognition and object tracking. So by putting the L5 into a pro an object, you can actually change the way you interact with this object. So it's, uh, it's quite exciting actually, the, the changes this it can bring. The applications are unlimited. What you have here is the first list we know about on how the, the product is used. And we are always surprised to hear about new ones and we look forward to learn about new ideas people uh, will come up with to, uh, to use this uh, product. I must say that we in ST are absolutely passionate about, uh, about this product. It's because it's, it's absolutely unique. It took us a team of more than 100 persons working together in order to achieve it. And actually, I would like to explain to you a bit why it was such a challenge. Okay, because the challenge was to do a 64 zone distance sensor measurements. Okay, but not only that, it needed to be small, high performance, so it means uh, to range far, to have high accuracy in every measurement, and also to perform that with a high frame rate, 60 hertz um, in the most demanding applications and also to be low power. Uh, you remember the, the power saving uh, idea. It's a key feature of this product. And all in one, um, all the processing is done internally so that the host can use it uh, in a very simple manner and also the product can be completely autonomous in the way it works. And all this with an attractive price, of course. And also our target is not to do a few of them, but millions of them. So every decision we make, uh, we have to be able to industrialize it. Here is what was achieved. In terms of dimension, 6.4 millimeter by three millimeter by one and a half millimeter height. Um, there are two modes. So you can have 16 zones, 4x4, or 64 zones, 8x8. And in terms of frame rate, 60 hertz in 4x4 and 15 hertz in 8x8. It's capable of ranging to 4 meters in both modes and with very good accuracy. In terms of power, it can go down to 3 milliwatts only in um, a low power mode. And at the maximum, it stays below 200 milliwatts. 
in terms of technology, um, the ranging is done with histograms and uh, using the ST own uh, C40 SPA technology. So now let's have a look a bit more specifically about how the device works. L5 is a time of flight sensor. The device is measuring the time the light takes to go from the device to the scene and then come back to the device. And because we know the speed of light, we can then just convert the time into distance. In more detail, the light is emitted by a vexel, uh, which is a laser source, in infrared at 940 nanometer. And then the beam is shaped by a diffractive lens element, and then it goes to the scene. It then comes back and is imaged on the sensor by a return imaging lens. And then we detect it on our sensor using our return SPAD array. Actually, we also have another SPAD array, which we call reference array, and um, it's uh, capturing a fraction of the light that is emitted by the vexel. So if you want it for T0, when the vexel is firing, a small portion goes very close to the reference SPAD array, and then we just compare the time between this SPAD array and all the travel back to the scene on the return SPAD array. And um, this comparison is done through processing into our, uh, our silicon sensor. And then after that, we just send the results to, to the host. So this is the general principle. Now let's have a look in some area of the system a bit more specifically. So first, the module and the optics. Here is a breakdown of the package. So the light is emitted by the vexel and it goes through a transmit lens and then out of the module. So why do we need a, a transmit lens? The, this is here an image of the beam directly out of the vexel. You can see it's circular and it's only 25 degrees. What we want to detect is object at 40 by 40 field of view. So we pass the beam through a diffractive transmit lens element and then it can reshape the beam in any fashion we want. And what we do is we do a square in order to detect the field of view that we want to detect. On the return side, the, the lens is uh, doing the imaging of the scene. So again, it's a diffractive lens element with a Fresnel pattern. And then um, it allows to have the scene projected onto, onto our SPAD array. So this is the, the general description of the module and the optics. For the silicone, BL5 is an all-in-one product. So every functionality is included into, into the silicone. We have here a vexel driver, the return and reference pad arrays that we, we mentioned. And the measurement is done using 64 parallel readouts um, of histogram measurements. And we can then uh, do the 64 zones by scanning by four. They are then after that fully processed with the support of a, an internal microcontroller and um, we get histograms that are after that completely calculated and transformed into distance measurements. And then finally, we have also some, some specific timing management inside the device so that it can be completely autonomous. So let's now have a look at the, the measurement capability of the device. So here is an example of a measurement. We are measuring the position uh, of a white target up to four meters in eight by eight mode. So the 64 modes. So in X here, you have the real distance of the, of the scene, which is a white target. And in Y, you have the distance reported by the device. And you can see here that this is a very linear um, answer response that the device is providing. And you can see also that it allows you to go to, uh, to four meter distance perfectly linearly. If we look at the same measurements, but assessing the error between the measurements and the real distance, we obtain this graph. So we can see here, um, the error is, is very small, typically within 2.5 millimeter, even going down to, uh, to four meter. So this is completely satisfact satisfactory um, for the, the product uh, application um, that are targeted here. 
So here is a bit more uh, information on the device operation. The parameters you can typically get from it are the ranging distance in millimeter, the target signal rate, the ambient light that you have in the scene, and the object reflectance. Here is an example with a color code on the distance information from the sensor, and we, we've mapped it uh, on a webcam image. So in red, you have the closed objects here, 200 millimeter, and in blue, the far objects here at 2000 millimeter. And here is also an example of gesture detection with the L5. So you can imagine the, the amount of possibilities uh, of what you can do with, with this product. This is just the beginning of a story. We are really proud and delighted that the L5 is now available to all. So it is high performance, 64 zones, 4 meters, high accuracy. It's already a success, actually, with more than 20 million parts already shipped. We absolutely look forward to all the applications which will use it with creativity and, and innovation. Um, we would like to deeply thank the whole team which has worked on making it real. Uh, the development and production teams in Europe America and Asia, and also um, our, our sponsors who have funded us. So now I would also like to thank you for your attention, and I will be very happy to answer any questions uh, you would have.